Good morning. Welcome to Enduro 360. I'm your host, Chili White. Today I'm here with a quick update on our dual sport bike, our 2013 KTM 350 EXC. I was riding in Mexico last week and something occurred to me and got me thinking, you know, one of the things about these bikes is the key. And what do you do with your key on the dual sport bike? Okay, so what's the deal with the dual sport key, you ask? Well, here's our 350 EXC. Here's the stock set up and many aftermarket kits are set up very similar so here's what happens keys right here it's nice and easy to get to but what it can do unfortunately it's never happened to me but it's it's actually relatively calm as you're going along you hit a piece of brush that knocks the key into the off position and then tears the key out at the same time before you know it your little black key has gone sailing off into the brush leaving you stranded trying to figure out where that thing's at. So what a lot of guys do is they just from right here, they run a zip tie around there and they've got it attached. And certainly I've done that and that's a good simple solution, but it really doesn't let you take the key out and take it with you. It's really dual sport riding and be kind of nice to have, have that ability. So this week I was riding with a friend of mine and she was using a lanyard like this. This is, what is this? Red Bull Romaniacs, 10 years. Okay. So she had the lanyard looped around the bars like that, hooked onto the bike. I thought, well, that's a pretty good idea. The only thing about it is you still kind of have this thing, you know, the, the lanyard itself sort of flopping around. So I thought, well, let me see. What can I do to go one better on that? What I did like about this little trade show lanyard is it has a clip on it so it comes apart. So here's what I did. Took another one I've got here. Took this part, we'll hook it onto the key. This part, I took the, the other end of the clip, zip tied it right there onto the mount, goes right in there, right in there, voila. Now we have a nice secure way to, to keep the key in there and yet be able to take it with us. Better yet, we now still have having two of these a lanyard that if I choose, I can clip this thing back together, wear it around my neck, do whatever. There's no way I'm going to lose that. So there you go. That is my simple solution for keeping track of your dual sport key and not losing it in the brush. Okay, so there's your dual sport key solution. I think it's going to work out really well. Uh, I actually have a whole lot of stuff to update talking about our 350 here. It's hard to believe we just did the top end on this bike. I've put 40 hours on it since then. <laughs> so now we're up to like 100 and we're pushing 160 hours total on the on the good old 350. It's doing really well, but we got a couple of new things we're working on for it. So stay tuned for that shortly. All right, thanks for tuning in. I'm Chili, and we'll talk to you soon.